Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube space. My name is Gift Nasimiu and this is Link TV. Just in case you are a returning subscriber, welcome back babe, welcome back. Anyway, on this cold morning, I have a very, very handsome man on my show. And this guy is an MC, radio presenter, TV presenter, comedian, niningine, ex-preacher. No, no, nini He recently just dropped a hit song called Pombe. So even before we continue with this interview, let me know, have you listened to the song? And if you have, what do you think about it? And if you haven't, unangoja nini daddy? Unangoja nini mami? Fika pale YouTube, listen to Pombe, and feel free to drop your comment, opportunity kwa your song. Anyway, I'll just let this handsome man introduce himself. Wait, wait, so this <laughs> handsome man... <laughs> uh -huh. Wait, by the way, you know I've never been categorized and a handsome man. Oh, wow. See, what a man. <laughs> <laughs> Generally. Yeah, what a man. You uh -huh. know, there's another man here. There's another man. So, thank uh -huh. you. You're uh, So, bay <laughs> <laughs> me panda. Oh, no, it's not. I'm going to say, 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 Mahari, <laughs> si lipi anymore, uh -huh. ni mina lipiwa. <laughs> You've heard, the uh -huh. handsome men, we don't pay for nothing. Yeah. Wow, wow. Because so, so I talk to my parents, uh -huh. uh, they talk to your parents, mulete, you're pretty in two million. Yeah. Because I'm a man, watch anyanza in one million. Eh, so. But when on a letter kakiru. <laughs> oh, no, the lady. Yeah, see, the lady, of course. Kwani, uh, we, we. Uh, we need to be oh. sure, Bina. Ah, we. <laughs> for whatever. Backward never. <laughs> this is exit only. Uh -huh. No end. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Obina, how are you doing? How is I'm life generally? Good. How is work? Work is good. Mm -hmm. Work is beautiful. I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good space mentally mm -hmm. and physically mm -hmm. and financially. Wow. I'm hey. in a good space. Mm -hmm. mm. financially, you emphasize. Single ladies, I hope you had that mm -mm. part. Ah, si peani, Mr. Angi Kitu. Mina kwacha venye Wow. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, Obina, let's get to lot of biggest story now. Wewe, okay. just to, to know you more. Okay. So I'd like you to maybe tell us a background. How was life growing up? Uli teseka. I'm all from these posh, posh homes. Well, now, you know, me and Zali were Karen. Mm -hmm. So, wow. you know, my dad had 18 V8s. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. <laughs> How I wish. Oh, wow. I've suffered. Mm -hmm. Village life, Kulimia Watu. Mm -hmm. I always tell people the odd jobs that I've done throughout my life. It's mm -hmm. been... It's been quite chaotic mm -hmm. from uh, kulimia watu kufanya mjengo, mm -hmm. kuchunia ngombe nyasi. Mm -hmm. Like you go look for it, then you put them in a sack, then you go sell. Mm -hmm. uh, looking for firewood, I've done that one as well. I've worked in a hotel. I've worked in the area. I've done, I think the only thing probably I've not done is being a watchman. Mm -hmm. But I've slept outside with watchmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've been through it all. Mm -hmm. It's it's not been uh, easy. It's been very very rough. Mm -hmm. So until where I'm now, that's why I'm telling you I'm at a, I'm at a safe space. Oh, wow. Yes, mm -hmm. like Penyeniko, sila liinge, na pia sisi kanja for one week, <laughs> nesa kanja for one night. But kesho, where I was, you wouldn't, you are not sure where the next meal was coming through. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at a good place. But where I've started. Mm -hmm wasn't that easy mm -hmm. i know for sure that at some point you were a street kid so will you maybe touch on this like how did you find yourself in that situation my dad kicked me out mm -hmm. i came to nairobi i jumped on a train came to nairobi i'd sold a phone i used to have a phone a vodafone phone mm -hmm. the safari phones. i think they were like a thousand or something yeah. yes there's a friend who sold it to me in school mm -hmm. uh he didn't know the password mm -hmm. Passcode, you a passcode, so I can it to me. So I stayed with that phone for a while, every day, just guessing the passcode. Mm -hmm. One day I guessed it, it can open. It was 1122. Mm -hmm. I've never forgotten that passcode. Then I used to have it, then nobody would call me. Mm -hmm. So I would put an alarm, then I can't place what work on a Kaivi, like five minutes phone in a ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 and the other excuse so me. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm like, excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello? Now you're Galatia, so that people can think I'm oh. important. Mm -hmm. So I sold it. Then my mom was my treasurer. So when my dad kicked me out, I was like, mom, give my money. My mom started crying. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm like, just give my money, man. I, I got to go. Mm -hmm. So I came to Nairobi. No, I didn't know anybody in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So the first place I ended up was Kamukunji mm -hmm. because I came with a train. Mm -hmm. So I shook up or railways to Kafikasa town on 24, 25. Mm -hmm. Now talk, I even the buildings were going around. I was confused. Mm -hmm. But I knew that cooperative building, 
I've seen it in the newspapers a couple of times. I'm like, you know, really bomb me. So that's what I'm you know, in 98. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I left, coming to us, I just went left, right. It was right through Akulima House side. Mm-hmm. Somehow I ended up in Kamukunji area mm-hmm. and somehow I ended up in Majengo. That's how my life just happened. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't intend to. Me, I knew Nairobi is the land of milk and honey. <laughs> Until <laughs> today, <laughs> I'm still looking for that milk. Uh-huh. The honeys are there, oh, wow. but you gotta have the milk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you had from the guy, you had yeah, from him. The honeys are there. Uh-huh. You gotta have the milk. What are you Lazima kuna maziwa. And I'm not talking about milk. <laughs> yeah. Na hii jinako oga obina. Are you Nigerian or do you have any Nigerian blood in you? Okay. So Obina brand is uh, half Nigerian, half Kenyan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least I wanted to be sure because I thought maybe umejiekea maybe stage name Elias Oga Obina but you had maybe some Onyango Otieno. That's a brand. Wow, Onyango. <laughs> <laughs> That's the brand. The brand name is Obina. Mm-hmm. Yes, and Obina is the brand name has evolved. Mm-hmm. It's it was Obina the Joker, then it was Obina Ike Igwe, mm-hmm. then I just Oga Obina, mm-hmm. then I is giving back to Oga the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Even now before we talk about maybe work uh, life at Kiss 100, I'd also like to know about Kula Kula show because that is where I first knew you. Actually, liko kwa ile show ya Kina Mungai Eve. Na Trevor, that is the first time I bumped into your content. So what inspired you to take that route as Oga Obina, a comedian MC, preacher is of it to zote. <laughs> wow, you're sitting with the preacher part. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Kula Kula show was born during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Uh, the idea initially was I would go to celebrities houses. Mm-hmm. We would cook and eat mm-hmm. and then I would give them something to cushion them during the pandemic because a lot of artists mm. didn't have shows during mm-hmm. the pandemic luckily enough I was on radio mm-hmm. so I had the salary so I was like I can see how I can split it if in a month I can see four people so that's one week mm-hmm. one episode that's, that's how kula kula started mm. then now it's gone ahead to be a different thing altogether now it's a full movement <laughs> like if I don't post guys are like where where post kula kula in fact yeah post kula kula every day I'm like yo guys so that's not how happens then other people thought it's a eating competition no it's not <laughs> So it was eating mm-hmm. but for you to slow down eating I have to ask you questions so now we slow down the eating because we are budget you know kama ulizi maswali tunaanza hivi shoka imeisha there some people we hosted there were appetite kama padi padi alikula jima ya ingapi so shiti we had a butita we had a kama mulamwa as i imagine mulamwa na kuku shwali yeah mamito we had saru madocho we had a lot of people so kula kula show started slowly i was actually talking to some want to do about it and i didn't expect it to perform the way it's performed mm-hmm. i knew it was a good thing i was like okay i was actually doing it for the artists mm-hmm. then i was like i'll just share it here so people can also get to know the other side of the artists mm-hmm. until we interviewed madocho mm-hmm. then everything changed madocho episode all the other episode like 2000 3000 5000 maybe 710 mm-hmm. maybe we interviewed madocho it aired madocho 10 15 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 20,000 
I get Very to bond important. with them. Yes, I get to bond with them mm-hmm. and I get to see them on their vulnerable side. So it's been a beautiful experience mm-hmm. for Kula Kula. Then now Kula Kula now built the page for Bina TV mm-hmm. because I was initially Kula Kula YouTube page. Mm-hmm. I had its own YouTube page. So I had to move everything to this page, mm-hmm. rename it to Bina TV. Then I had to bring all the other content I was doing elsewhere. Mm-hmm. There are some I'm still bringing. There's a lot of content I've still not shared mm-hmm. that even I'm thinking of opening another YouTube channel. Okay. That's even probably going to be more fire or it might not. I'm normally very pragmatic. So it might, it might not. Yeah, yeah there are two ways about it. But do we die? We don't. No, we don't. We move. And then now there's toxic boyfriends. Mm-hmm. And then the now, segment. yeah, there's taxi problems. Mm-hmm. There's toxic boyfriends. There is fast time. Mm-hmm. And all of them have just picked a life of their own. And I'm like, but the, the only thing that someone needs to see about my YouTube and the content I do, every content I do, if it is not entertaining you and educating, mm-hmm. most of them are edutainment. Mm-hmm. You'll be entertained, but you'll be learning something as you watch, or you'll be watching and you'll be earning something. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the shows. Mm-hmm. If you look at Kula Kula show, you will laugh, yes, but you'll learn something about the celebrity. Yeah. You look at uh, taxi, taxi problems, problems you'll, you'll enjoy, it, but you'll also learn about the safety in taxi and everything. When you will uh, watch first time, mm-hmm. you'll be entertained, but you'll also learn the mistakes not to make. Yeah. Then you come and then you watch toxic boyfriends. Mm-hmm. You'll also laugh, or you'll cry or whatever. I sympathize with the girls, mm-hmm. but you also learn the red flags, look at the relationship. Yeah. And then there's many other that are still coming. Mm-hmm. There's another boys for boys that's coming through. So every content I'm doing, mm-hmm. I want it to teach other people something. I don't want to just watch it. <laughs> then like, what did you learn? Nothing. Yeah. I want you to live like, hey, so steve used to do oh my god i didn't know yeah that's what i want yeah it actually makes sense because i think speaking of steve yesterday we saw that post of him at the point when he was arrested i think from it like if you go back and watch the whole video you can learn something out of it for sure so no yeah anyway so preacher preacher oga obina hey, praise the lord pastor oga obina Glory. 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 <laughs> Should I call you a preacher or an ex-preacher? Is it something that Glory. you do or you already shied away from? Glory. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. <laughs> Somebody slap your neighbor. <laughs> Somebody put your hand in your neighbor's pocket. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> you, have, you have to pull it out. <laughs> so I was not preaching like that. Uh-huh. So uh, this is what I would say. I'm, I think I'm, I'm a teacher now mm-hmm. because I still preach. Mm-hmm. Because I was taught the Bible, cover to cover. I know so many scriptures. I know what the Bible wants and everything. I know the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the good and the bad and everything. However, with the generation now, Mm -hmm. there are some things you have to find a softer way of telling them. Then I'm normally also very... I'm a sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. It's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. If I don't like something, I'll tell you, no, gift, no, don't do this. Mm -hmm. Do that, do this, don't do this. Because after I tell you that, you'll only gain and I always look at positivity. If I tell you not to do something, it's because it's negative, it will not. That's why even sometimes you'll find me online, na vurutana na fans. Someone says something dumb, I'm like, stop being dumb. Focus. We're trying to look at, open your mind. Mm-hmm. Don't. So I'm normally very open mm-hmm. and very vocal, which is the way preachers are. Yes. So I might preach to you then every situation that normally happens, I normally look at all angles. Mm-hmm. Someone will be exposed to it, they've done something. I'll think about it, I'm like, why did they do it? Mm-hmm. Do you think they did it or something coerced them or it was accidental? Mm-hmm. Was it intentional? Is it clout? Is it? So I always think of everything. So before I write, I think about it, then I'm like, which one is the most safest way to put this? Mm-hmm. You know? So you might still call me a preacher, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or a teacher, a teacher yeah or a godfather mimi ni baba yao lakini sika jua kali okay mimi ni uncle yao lakini hata kabla tuende kwa hiyo hiyo dajo na unanga pia unasema wao mimi ni father abraham even before we get to that yeah. so oga obina mungu ameamwadhisia ini mwaka wa oga obina kama ni kazi kisefem shika ni yako kama ni gari mpya shika ni yako mm. eh so let's now talk about our work at kisefem like yeah. how is it so far how is it working with Kamene? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, man, it's terrible, man. You know, <laughs> I'm tired, man. You know, I'm uh-huh. tired. I want to quit. Bloggers, <laughs> do your job. Yeah, thank you. Take the headline. I want to quit, man. It's too much. It's draining, man. See, man, the way I'm too dark, you know, mm-hmm. you know, 
<laughs> Anywho, Kiss is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Kiss is a dream come true. Mm-hmm. Like when I got the job at Kiss, I was like, even if I do it for one week, mm-hmm. Mama, I made it. What I've always wanted to do, mm-hmm. done did it. Mm-hmm. Done, dusted, it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. Even now, if I'm told even now the contract is over, I'll be like, okay, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I had fun mm-hmm. because all my life I've always wanted to do a breakfast show. Mm-hmm. Then I've always wanted to work at Kiss. I never, even if it's midnight, I would say, see, they just put me by midnight. Me, me, like, mm-hmm. like I've always said, let me be somewhere in Kiss in Radio Africa as a group, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, it's most creatives, they normally look at it like it's the epitome of kufika kufika. Mm-hmm. So when I was called, I'm like, okay, then I get there, then the experience is different. I'm like, yo, bado, what's bado. this? I'm like, oh, so mukona viti. Oh, mukona AC. Oh, okay. Mukona big screen. I'm like, okay. And then they put me in a studio. Guess with who? Not a man, a chick. And not mm-hmm. just a chick, hot mama cedar. Baby girl. I'm like, woo. It's hot. Sasa misi lalangi. Niko tu you the whole night. Mwangali alam. Time ya kwenda joba ifiki. Ask, ask a man, they always find me in the studio, uh-huh. in the office. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm looking for. Then show you another question because listen, oh, I'm always no. telling us, we, we say one more thing. I say, uh-huh. like, no, no, it's I'm like, time. yes, like, no, mm-hmm. no. But it's it's fun. I'm I'm having the the ride of my life, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm enjoying. Mm-hmm. And like I said, at the moment, I've achieved 99 percent of the things I wanted to achieve in life. Mm-hmm. I've done, I've always wanted to do radio and TV. I've done radio, I've done TV. Mm-hmm. Now we came to the digital space, which was not there when I was thinking of everything. Mm-hmm. But now digital space I've also done and my page is doing quite well, YouTube. And uh, kids already have kids. Mm-hmm. You have tried relationships up and up here. So, akuna kitu jaribu. Maybe just one thing, jaribu. Lakini yo staki kujaribu. Yeah, yeah, but I've, at the moment, mm-hmm. I'm grateful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, just a few months ago, uh, there's a post that you put up on your social media, and there was a fan who was actually comparing you to Jalas. How did you take it, and is it something that you, you still get? Like, people comparing you to Jalas since you kind of replaced him. Okay, comparing me to him, beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's like now, how my rally drivers, how many are Naivasha, we're going to compare na Ulua F1, na Naituaje, that one, you know the guy. So, it's it's an honor. Mm-hmm because he's part of my godfather team. Mm-hmm. Like he's mentored me, he's helped me, he's advised me, supported me, mm-hmm. everything. Like I've known him for years. He's always been constant in my life, teaching me a couple of things. Mm-hmm. So if you compare me to him, it means I'm doing a good job. Mm-hmm. Then also another thing that people also need to know is that I am not him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't do what he can do. Mm-hmm. And probably he can't do what I can do. Mm-hmm. We bring different things to the table. Mm-hmm. So comparing it's good and bad at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's good if you want me to improve on a couple of things. Mm-hmm. And it is bad if you want me to be exactly like, like him. him yeah. I can't be like him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And would you say that, I'm a, do you feel like at times fans are entitled? And I'll actually link this to a certain scenario. The time that you actually bought your car. And mm-hmm. there's a fan that went there, customer, oh, guy, ini loan, ini, nini. Like, do you feel like at times fans are entitled? To, celeb- to, to maybe uh, being part of celebrities' lives, I'm uh, getting to know too much. Okay. So first of all, come on loan. I'm a silon. Silon ni angu. Silon ni nalipu. I'm a loan ni free. I just say, ma, ati ni favor. It's uh-huh. loan. Uh-huh. You pay back. Uh-huh. Okay. Anywho, uh, aside from that, most Kenyan fans conclude without information. Muta meka kwa kabed sitakake, ana kutu kana, unatoka karen, Kwa nyumba ya 300 million, <laughs> haulali, jukuna mutu wako kwa bed sita mlolongo, <laughs> ame kuokota. Mm-hmm. Uko zile za man. <laughs> yeah, like this person does not even, they don't know me, they don't know me like that. Most Kenya fans conclude without proper information, mm-hmm. then also they feel entitled to your life, mm-hmm. which also comes with the job. Mm-hmm. The minute you are a celebrity in the public eye, public scrutiny, public hate, mm-hmm. public love, everything is public. Yeah. That is why there's some parts of my life I want to keep private. Mm-hmm. You know, I've always blocked them out. Some parts that you'll only see what I want you to see. Mm-hmm. And no matter what you say, it doesn't change me being the person I am. Mm-hmm. 
you might say the way let's say for example be nice arrogant or be nice stupid or be nice word or be nice short or be nice everything mm -hmm. but it doesn't change the person that i am so the problem is as celebrities we never have that cushion it never comes with the heart nowhere in the arteries zero raw in a kujanga vileiko even one negative comment in a kukula sometimes you just sit down and look at the things you've achieved and know where you're coming from and go like that's why most of the time I rarely read my comments. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Like, I don't even, whether you comment, you don't comment. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a giveaway, I'll be like, comment, and then someone will look and then decide the winner. They'll give me, I'll do that. Because when you go to the comments, you'll fall into depression. Yeah. And that's a mistake that we normally do. Curiosity. The minute you're curious, you do it. Kenyan fans are very brutal. I don't know if you have a president Twitter. <laughs> do you know our president is not on Twitter? Yeah. Because of Kenyans. Ni matusi. Matusi na what na everything. My guy like, you don't know me like that? Yeah. But someone's like, eh, hey, you think so? Da, 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 da. You wear like this, people tell you, no, don't dress yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You're like, and you're speaking as who? Yeah. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Uh, you are Versace. You are the king of drip. Good. So you, you've decided this is the way. And then also, as Kenyans, we conclude with limited information. Mm -hmm. Me, I know that hoodie, in a value na jinika, na sneakers. Mm -hmm. Umeva hoodie na jinika na ukapega gamboots. Na sema, ay, look who got me. Nani anavanga hivo. It's just that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Like they always say, if you've not traveled, you think your mother is the best cook. Yeah, yeah. Saizi unaenda, unapata wasona na kula mapanya. Ukula, hey, panya, hey. But there are people who love it and it's a delicacy. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's part of the ninis found there. You go, people eat snakes. People eat crocodiles. Mm -hmm. But you're like, ha. Hey. But sayo, nyumu na kula kumbe kumbe. You're eating ants, termites. All those ones. So, if you lack information, you'll conclude based on what you know. Mm -hmm. And they always say, the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yo, mm -hmm. there's a lot that you still don't know. But now, because you're a Kenyan person, you know all, you have all the data you have. Umeomba mutu Wi-Fi, wacha tutukane maseleb. And that thing, by the way, for the ones watching, that thing affects a lot of celebrities. Mm -hmm. The male ones as well. But I look at the female celebrities. Mm -hmm. You are there body shaming them. Mm -hmm. You're there telling them, Sujui, you've done what? Mm -hmm. You're there dissing how they look, what the job they do, the men they date, the husbands, mm -hmm. the, the cars they drive, everything. You're dissing them, their children. You're to kind of someone's child on social media. That thing eats them so much. Mm -hmm. You have no idea the harm it does. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes I'm always just like, uh, this person disses me like this, but they don't know the power that you have. You can change their life overnight. Yeah. One day you'll just tukana someone and you'll just kazi yako. Your life is over. By the finding you is very... In Kenya, if someone wants to find you, uh, it's just one phone call. Unapato na kidogo kwa koti pale na defamation na ukondani. 20 years. And your life is a wrap. Na pia kupata mutumbaya pia, hata kwa koti ya utafika. True. Koto zile, oh, really? Yeah. By the way, you need to tread carefully. As a Kenyan, and even just as a human being, mm -hmm. you never know the person you're talking bad to, yeah. how far off the ledge they are. Mm -hmm. Because you can only to school. Then when you come to the house, you say, Obina, what are you doing now? Sometimes you always say, before you write it, think about it. If someone said it to you, how would you feel? Then I always tell some people, instead of writing some things on my social media, come and say it to my face. <laughs> yes, come on, you can not a street anywhere. Come on, you by the owner, you jinga, nini, 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 spend even, you know, tell it to my face. To put on it to an then your confidence, yeah, you go in private, it come in public, and then start to put on it, and then Sandro Sonia, and be a visuri, Sasavan, you'll come on a sema. I will say, I by that, I dare you. If you find there's something you want me to change about my life, come and say to my face, yes, because there's difference of hate and critic mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. a critic will do it to make you be better mm -hmm. like someone watch kula kula will say uh you know those laughing sounds uh, can we what what mm -hmm. but now what they don't know is that when i was creating the show i had the yeah, idea of mind. a sitcom mm -hmm. it's a sitcom sitcom has live audience mm -hmm. i'm looking to go shoot it at a live audience so before you get there i'm looking at you starting to warm up and prepare for it okay. so i cannot change it but because you don't have that information ah, you're so stupid yeah. this comment is there. Mm -hmm. so you watch a cool watch yeah. nobody has nobody has a gun in your head too mm -hmm. you see so you feel like you have that come and say it to my face mm -hmm. yeah 
I actually say here on Link TV before you you even drop your comment, whether it's on YouTube, on whichever platform, like always remember that there's a person at the end of the line who is reading it. If it were you, how would you have re reacted to that comment? You know? So let's just try to be kind. I'm a little bit kind. Kama kukua kind ni ngumu sana kwako. Jaribu tu kidogo. Even eh. being kind, if you can't be kind, shut up. Mm -hmm. Shut up. I always say, if you don't have anything kind to say, mm -hmm. shut up. Yeah. Umimit mse venya me vaja kubamba. Mm -hmm. Bidu kumbia, oh, me vaja kama fala. Hey. Shut up. Take your opinion mm -hmm. and shove it. <laughs> I know what you wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So me ingizo uko kwa colon. Ibingi uko kwa duodenum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because nobody, where va venya unataka. Where va venya unataka. After all, in life, we came independently mm -hmm. and we are living independently. We'll come solo. They're gonna live solo, so yeah. So now make us a godfather. No, oh, I'm not even pissed. Oh, na sasa. In fact, what you come choke us? Mutu. No, no, no. I don't. Eh? I'm, I've like I've told you when we were starting. I was like sometimes when I speak, I speak as a parent. Sometimes, a sometimes teacher. as a teacher. Sometimes as a father. Sometimes as a friend. Sometimes as a cartoon. Mm -hmm. At my moments. So that moment to me, Pitapo, yo was my father moment. Mm -hmm. Sasa to talk about this, sasa kwa urachetri. Aya. Sasa niulize sasa vitu. Sasa wacha ni kumbie. Tu mefika ile po nchama penzi. Eh? Nchani yona kwa blogging. Nina po na kuita Father Abraham. Yeah. Was it, is it a name that you put on yourself? Yeah. Um, so people used to diss me with it and then I owned it. Yeah. Now they can't diss me with it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm like Father Abraham. Yeah, yeah. for kids. So, and I'm happy about it and I'm proud about it. Actually, for not that many, if you ask My me. My point me. exactly. Yeah. I know people with 10 children. Yeah. I know people with 7 children. Celebrities. Mm -hmm. I know people with like 12 children. Celebrities. Mm -hmm. I know deadbeat fathers. Others, I know bitter mothers, I know deadbeat mothers, mm -hmm. but because they're not talking about their private, yeah. so I'm the martyr. I'm being <laughs> stoned on behalf of everybody oh else. God. And I'm like, cool, it's all right. If having my kids will make you call me Father Abram, gladly. Yeah. Father Abram reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. Then also I have a couple of other kids that have uh, adopted mm -hmm. oh, wow. uh, in the orphanages, mm -hmm. a couple of orphanages, pay for them school fees, dressing, nini nini. Mm -hmm. There's another orphanage in Mwiki that I like supporting a lot. Mm -hmm. The lady has 75 children and it is one lady. So I'm always there and they call me uh, Uncle Obina. Mm -hmm. Obina wa Indomi. Because anytime I always go there, I pull up with Indomi. Mm -hmm. Even when I was doing my birthday the other day, I went there, I took for them a couple of shopping. But they're my people. So I'm Father Abraham. I have a lot of kids. Then also in the industry, I have a lot of children. Mm -hmm. I've mentored a couple of people. I've nurtured a couple of people. Just because I don't post doesn't mean I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. Then also just in life, mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that look at, up to me like a father. So it's okay. I'm happy about it. Being a father is a blessing. It's not a curse. Yeah, it, it is. It yeah. Is a blessing. Yeah. So how do you uh, maybe create that relationship with your kids? Because I know for sure that you are really intentional in parenting them. How do you create that relationship with them to the point that they know uh, this is my father, my best friend, my everything? Viboko. Ah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. So it's no nobody has a blueprint of how to raise kids. Mm -hmm. One thing. We all raise our kids differently. Mm -hmm. Then the way the kids relate to their parents is also different. Mm -hmm. The way they relate to mom and dad is different. Mm -hmm. Then the way my kids relate to me and your kids relate to you are different. Mm -hmm. So mine, I'm really trying to be their friend. I'm mm -hmm. still trying. Mm -hmm. We get to Nagongana Kidogo, Kidogo Nagwaruzana Papale, but I try to be their friends. Then I try to be present mm -hmm. because when I'm present, I see what is happening. Mm -hmm. I correct it and I impart the knowledge that I have mm -hmm. in a nice software so they don't feel like, oh, dad is telling us not to do this. I don't want my kids to do things because dad will beat us. Mm -hmm. I want them not to do things because they know it is wrong. I want them to be kind. I want them to love each other. I want them to be happy and try. I want them to talk when something is off. Like the other day we were talking about bullying. Mm -hmm. We spoke about... Uh, rape mm -hmm. I was talking to my son and my second born daughter about rape and everything like people touching you yeah. and you don't like talk about it mm -hmm. like i'm trying to find easier ways to make them then i'm also teaching them how to be kind to people mm -hmm. soldier auntie mm -hmm. people on the street schoolmates teachers like general people mm -hmm. so it's, it's a constant lesson it's experiment some fail some backfire mm -hmm. but you're trying but above all i'm just trying to be their friend mm -hmm. the minute i'm their friend and i manage to hack it the rest will fall in place. Yeah, because you never want to disappoint your friend. Yeah. That's where we're going. 
wow wow so i'd also like to touch on baby mamas because i mean i know okay i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know like do you, do you have a relationship with them like do you guys talk i'm a lishia too apple i'm a sema tuonge kuhusu sasa hawa ma ma gaidi okay i'm messing with you so my baby mamas are cool not all of them some are some are not it's it's a constant battle with baby mamas war never stops mm-hmm. the war never ends <laughs> it's always one thing or another mm-hmm. so you always find and i always say for baby mamas you either pay them or chew them <laughs> if wow. you're not chewing them oh. ni battle yeah. if you're not paying them also it's another it's battle another but not all of them some mm-hmm. are quite sort i would say others mm-hmm. see wangu <laughs> wangu <laughs> wangu are special mm-hmm. But at the moment we have an understanding. Mm-hmm. That's what I'll say. So there's no baby mama drama. Uh, Let me know on social media. You cannot relate. Nani akose? Kuiba watoto ni meiba. Watoto ile watoto wa meibu wa gibo kwangu. Wanasema, unaona kata don 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 ding. Tururu. Giri. Sema look left. Look right. Be mama yuko. Beba mtoto. Tiki 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 tiki. Like for real for real I'm just Yeah. Have, yes. There's a time I sold my kid from the school. I went to the mission kumtafuta huko nikatafuta huko place where they used to stay mm-hmm. I'm going around the picture looking for the uniform for the school until I can't pass shule nikamchukua na peleka lunch I've had those ones wa mekamo mesanya watoi I've had moments where I go to school and the time time ya kutoka ingine ku gari ingine ku gari then my kids are my people so like dad they come they hug me like dad again dad again unatoka hivi unakuta na mwingine akiingia I've had drama we ni wenye tu don't post eh 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 mimi zangu zikitolewa wewe akina trend <laughs> na trend for one month so will you say you staying with them right now uli waiba unajua mtu anaweza kuwa anaacha sebe we obina anaishi na watoto wake wanne maybe he stole them from the baby mamas mm. ama did you guys have an Kani understanding kama ni wangu kama ni basi ni wangu kama yeye anataka pia kukaa nao kidogo no 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 okay so one thing about me i don't prescribe or i don't support the ideology mm-hmm. that when i have the kids or when they stay with me they should not see their mothers mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i don't want it i don't like it i believe that children should be able to see all the parents yeah. so the fact that i want to stay with them is because i know i can give them a better life than their mother can mm-hmm. however i always tell them one day they'll talk about it they'll tell you i always tell them your kid goes to this school mm-hmm. your kid lives here mm-hmm. this is the number of the teacher this is the number of the house help mm-hmm. When you get here you can come anytime see the child mm-hmm. and if you like on Fridays when they're off you can take them mm-hmm. and then now drop them back on Sunday because they're going to school. school yeah. Like I'm very easy with you come see your child anytime I cannot stop you you are the parent mm-hmm. now just let me live with the child because now the discipline I can give them the security and the safety mm-hmm. and the providing I can do it easier when they are here okay. because you know when the child is there sasuna tumanga Tuma do pesa. and you don't know if that money is being used to do what it's supposed to yeah. that's the battle that's normally there mm-hmm. and some baby mamas when you send money you never even see the child mm-hmm. you can't see your child mm-hmm. and then they say we are talking about mtoto is because beat. when you do when you want to see the child they don't want to bring the child mm-hmm. then also another issue that I've also seen that happens is the one mm-hmm. I've told you okay you can see the child on friday then i guess to friday you're like bring for me the child mm-hmm. so now ego zinaanza kupigania hapo niko zile za you are the one who wants to see the child mkujie come and see the child yeah. it's like oh utaki nione mtoto wangu so you see now one person has decided you don't want and you're like come kuju chukue aya atakuja mchukue then on sunday una relax saa 8 saa 9 mm-hmm. saa 10 saa 2 bado so you decide to call mm-hmm. when you call it might be picked or it might not be picked mm-hmm. and if it's picked or the text is replied is the one for sium kujie oh. and you're like you took the child mm-hmm. they're like eh mimi nimchukua sawe mkujie you're like wow. really yeah like most most baby mama and baby daddy drama is normally very petty mm-hmm. issues very small issues that don't really have to be drama mm-hmm. but now so ina fikile point so kama wana homo ni za kwa zile ah simkuji yeah. then atakana mtoto that time you've already paid school fees yeah. then atakana mtoto and then mtoto then asema uli tupa mtoto they'll say that or you'll swallow your ego then go pick the child, the child. remember next week same treatment yeah. no 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 next week is same treatment she'll come and pick then she'll say so you have to go out of your way to help and remember you've already paid school fees you paid medical uniform food everything mm-hmm. and you stay with the child Monday to Friday mm-hmm. but also they want you on Friday you take the child to them and then you take back the child and even sometimes when you go to pick the child the child is not there mm-hmm. or the child oh alienda ku visit auntie yake 
Oh, alienda kwa nyanya yake. <laughs> oh, ameenda kwa friends wake. I end rudi after two hours. Like it's just a lot of petty issues mm-hmm. that are normally solved with either money or uh, relationships. Money. But it depends with whatever your baby mama wants. Mm-hmm. There's some who just want when you send them constant money, wana kuleta ng mtoto. Na wana chukua. Oh, tatu makab. Aya wacha nchukue kab. Na na panga mat. Size of whatever else that you can So wana tuma kab and a drop back. So mm-hmm. it's normally a lot of small issues. Mm-hmm. So just like any other baby daddy, I've had my fair share and I'm still having my fair share of them. Mm-hmm. It's a battle. Mm-hmm. It's a very serious battle. And those ones for oh, wana kuchukua mtoto wangu na umeendelea kuchukua mama wengine. That's what happens. So when people always talk like that, it's insecurity. Yeah. And this is how I think about it. I'm like, so if your baby daddy introduces your child to another woman, mm-hmm. does it stop you from the, being the baby mother? mother. Yeah. Ama, what, what does it do? Like, does it, does it strip you of your title? Like, you gave birth to this child? Or, and then most baby mamas always think, I don't know about baby daddies because I've dealt with baby mamas and friends of mine in the industry also tell me the scandals they've had baby mamas. Mm-hmm. Most baby mamas always think that baby daddies always sit down with their children and start discussing them. them. Uh, so, uh, you know your mom is very <laughs> evil, eh? She's a witch. You know your mother. You know your mother this. You know your mother. So they assume that because probably that's what they do. Mm-hmm. But now what they, ask, what they don't know is that when they normally come to see the baby daddies, most of the kids, baby daddies always vibes upon vibes. Yata kunya pombe yake, akaya hapo na watoi, wacheke, wafanye nini, wacheze games, da 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 da. Life moves on. So mtoi anakami kwa dad because dad is chilled. Mm-hmm. Ana drama mingi. Mm-hmm. Then mama kia nuku, you know your dad, you know your dad. Then the child is just looking at them like. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, so baby mama drama, mm-hmm. guaranteed. I actually have a show called baby mama drama. Mm-hmm. I just haven't figured out the best time to share it because also it requires very big budgets. Mm-hmm. I've re- I shot the first episode, but I normally like to share something when I have like six episodes. Mm-hmm. So for the next six weeks, while it airs, I can plan on what to do next. next yeah, so I'm still thinking, but it's about the drama mm-hmm. that happens between baby mamas and baby daddies. And it is chaotic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are really waiting for that segment because I mean we are we are ready to learn to dream still my baby mama as well. I'm not a baby mama, but we can just learn from <laughs> it, like do's and don'ts. We will take care of the kids. <laughs> we just need a carrier. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, yeah. Aki the Obina, you guys are not nice. We're not shalin. Yeah. Eh? Are you I know. Are, are you still seeing her secretly? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we, we, hmm? Actually, we spoke today. I knew it, my fans. Now let yeah, go. We Daku. spoke today. Uh-huh. Now we are just friends because we never like became enemies. Mm-hmm. And when the opportunity presented myself, she even spoke with me, and I was like, "Yo, if it was me, we are meaning a visa. Where? Yeah, true. Securing the bag is important. Mm-hmm. So the idea is that naenda uko at a make dosi atarudi si baroniko tu." Mm-hmm. Kama bado ni painting. Mimi niko kwa ground. Unajua wana wame wachapangi. <laughs> 20 years later I'll still be just maybe na kwa naweza kwa na kandevu. Mm-hmm. But I'll still be busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like what's up baby girl? Mm-hmm. Bring that American money right here. Bring the oh, greens. Yeah. Bring those greens right here. Let me show you how we can spend them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I know, break off your back. <laughs> yeah, she's she's my friend now. She's married and she's doing well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And right now, are you seeing anyone or are you just single? Now, you we know, we know. I'm on a chance. Okay, I'm going to spill the beans. I'm seeing you. <laughs> See, you are here. <laughs> and also, I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, you're here. And also, I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I was shaky. I'm a little bit handsome. I'm handful. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Two ladies, there's this and <laughs> this is Obina for you. I'm seeing a couple of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they are seeing me. Yeah, you're not one and you're now. Like my dream, my dream, dream. Mm, see, mm-hmm. I had a demo because they're going to attack. At the demo, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. See, the one you manage. Oh, see, pretty Vichy. Yes, yeah, see, pretty Vichy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I thought about it, and then Sasa Ubaya, Sasa Stevo is my boy. Sasa, <laughs> we don't cross swords. I love to send a pretty vision down in Fupi. So, so if pretty, <laughs> you know the pretty vision, the, the Kenyeji version and Uyu version, as I pro max, GMO, different. different. Yeah. Sasa so, so Kenyeji version, ya pretty vision, mm-hmm. eh, hey, kidogo tricky. Because Ule, I go, Sasa, the pro max, the GMO, and I'm like, hmm. I can try. I'm like, no, I can try. I can do that. I can do that. But, <laughs> but I'm like, hmm. 
ananifikia huku mm-hmm. so namuona naona mtoto wangu niko like ah this is my child huu ni mtoto wangu nataka mentorship I'm like relax huyu anataka mtu mrefu kukushinda nataka mtu at least hata unajua ukisimama you know relationship as a lady you're supposed to be somewhere here mm-hmm. so you look up to your man ule ana look all the way <laughs> up there like a pretty vision niangalia hivi sasa hiyo mapenzi and then hata pia alafu mm-hmm. pretty vision does not have secrets mm-hmm. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes sasa unajua bina Hobinali kuja. I'm like, "He? Eh? <laughs> I like people who don't kiss and tell." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So ange kwa mtu ash. Eh, uh, pretty vision anaongea. We. Kido kido gata shikia mna kutukana Steve. Una niliingia hapa na Robina nimepita na yeye. Like, what? I'm like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so I have a couple of uh, suspects. Mm-hmm. Sasa anangoja kuna kuna queue. Mhm kuna kiu hapo na ngoja kidogo kuna watu watoe jam uh-huh. kama sasa ambare uh-huh. na mtu wake uh-huh. watawachana tu si tuko kwa line line refu Mnangoja. line imefika bamburi uh-huh. tuko tu hapo nyuma hivi mimi i think niko voi line nafika huku mimi niko voi uh-huh. tunatoa tu jam tukisonga uh-huh. tafikiwa kuna corazon uh-huh. kidogo kidogo franki atangukiwa na dumbbell kwa gym <laughs> <laughs> Tamogonga mugu hata kuwa natembea tena kienda kwa Corazon mm-hmm. then mimi nakuja pale Nasonga do your konga. kids need a dirty <laughs> <laughs> you have experience yes, i mean like, i can take care of kids you know kids like me you know <laughs> and then pia kamene mm-hmm. pia na umu tu wake pia tumekaa tu tunangoja tuko zile za hmm. mm-hmm. so unajua sitafanya kiss forever mm-hmm. siku nimetoka tu kiss hivi na slide kwa DM ya kama niko like hey sexy <laughs> <laughs> the day i just get fired ah you know now because we are colleagues ah you are just short you're a bazooka <laughs> yeah now we are colleagues so i'm like okay you know your friends you know and everything <laughs> then pia na mtu wake pia of course watawachana tu mm-hmm. so ile wakiwachana hivi alafu mimi nilikuwa nimetoka kiss mm-hmm. na ikatu bazooka ile rambo hapa na mweka kwa ile plus sign <laughs> Niko huko kwa DM hey sexy lady I know It's you like handsome Ah 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 use uji sif kwanza sema I know you like kachumbari unaenda kitaizi resist Kamene loves kachumbari so like I know you like kachumbari do I look like onions <laughs> <laughs> You're the tomato now me and you <laughs> Una kama smooth <laughs> line Yeah yeah so kuna kuna line kuna jam mm-hmm. sasa tunaangalia and then tuna so you've seen my type of yeah. women now yeah. Sasa pretty angekuwa mfupi alafu angekuwa na kidogo sasa yeah ungesonga angekusonga sasa songesha mm. mbele ya line kidogo yeah, yeah. sasa ubaya sasa hizo wale wenye wananiwinda sasa pia wanaka vile wanataka my dm is full lakini sasa kidogo ai kidogo tricky i'm sorry i'm sorry anyway mm. as we wind up I have three hot questions for you tatu tu why are we winding tatu up tatu tu why are we winding up why obina why are we winding up <laughs> Me I'm not going any. <laughs> Aya, sawa. But then ndo mtustable nimeshaileta kwa show. Anyway, Thank I'm enjoying you. the segment. Mm. So Obina, what is the worst relationship you have ever been in? Ama usha ichapwa kwa relationship. Yeah. Uh, ah. Nimechapwa na maneno. Mm, nimeambiwa eh hey, wewe wewe. We. Hey, relationships. Wewe wewe wewe. Are you the problem ama watu unatafuta no the I, problem? I think I'm the problem. I'm the constant figure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the problem. Lakini like, ningekuwa problem pia. I think I'm the problem. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm too I'm too kind mm-hmm. then I'm too calm. Mm-hmm. Like me the building will be falling around me and I'll just be seated sure. like minimum so silent treatment I just keep quiet. Mm-hmm. Sometimes then ndio nyima dema pena kunyamaziwa. Mnakuja mpaka mwanaume hapa. Sayo nisha kupiga nikakuwa kwa kichwa yangu. But I'm just like don't unaingiza kama mkono kwa mfuko mm-hmm. unanyamaza unaambiwa 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 unaskumwa hivi unaambiwa bwana ume useless. You just sit there like a useless man that you are. Mm-hmm. You take your L. Then sayo naomba tu nasema tu nikipita tu kwa ile mlango. Sirudi. Sayo mlango na kwa hii imefunga una ki. Unasema nikipita tu kwa hii mlango. Mm-hmm. Munione hapa haki nijikute. So I've, I've had my fair share of those ones and I would say where I am now I'm happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm peaceful. I don't like war at all because the things I can do are very bad. I'm from the street man. Like I know every then I'm a Gemini. Mm-hmm. I'm an overthinker. Mm-hmm. Like for any small thing I always think of everything. I think of the worst and I think of the best mm-hmm. and I know that's the solution and this another solution mm-hmm. but what's the best? I might not be happy with the solution but I'll keep quiet because it's the best for you. 
Now, let's say, for example, now you, you start picking a fight with me. Mm-hmm. So I look at your size, I look at my size, I look at everything I can do. Mm-hmm. Then I'm just like, okay, keep quiet. So you'll do everything, you'll do it. You can even spit on me, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'll just be there, present. Then when I walk out, just mm-hmm. block, delete. Because I can do a lot of things mm-hmm. to you. But it's not right. That's not the way humans are supposed to be. We're supposed to be peaceful. Mm-hmm. Let's be the ones for, you've done this. How do we solve it? Let's talk. But if you don't want to talk, you want to fight. I don't have time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not Obina, not Obina. I don't got time for uh-huh. that. Mm. And what is the, is the most romantic act you have ever done when in a relationship? Bought some niggas a car. Ah! Cars. Hiya. I think that was romantic, maybe. I don't know. What you can jump and you can do it. 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 No, 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 no. no. Uh-huh. I can't take it back. I bought a couple of people cars, by the way. I always find, like, I always look at what is the biggest gift I can give you. So, you can do it. You can do it. Then I look at what you really need. I'm like, I can buy you flowers. They will wither in a couple of days as well. Uh-huh. Or I can buy you something that will last for a while. So, yeah. So I think that was the most romantic. Ama kulipa mahari, is that romantic? Uh, yoni, yoni kufanya. Oh, sorry. Hey. Jokes. <laughs> R- wrong joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the last one. Do you prefer uh, going out on a date or just staying indoors, maybe watching a movie, eating popcorns? It depends. Mm-hmm. It depends with the person. Kuna manyanga uzingine. Wezi yena nazo maali. <laughs> but then also there are some people also just look nice mm-hmm. when you just walk with them and they're in a long dress mm-hmm. and you're wearing a suit and you go for dinner mm-hmm. i i have my moments mm-hmm. like i love dates mm-hmm. i love dating i love love the whole idea life going to the movies mm-hmm. i also love sometimes to just be indoors i'm like babe put on my hoodie you put on my sweatpants mm-hmm. And we are there just cuddling on the couch watching a movie. Someone will black out at some point. We'll wake up, grab something. Mm-hmm. I love that. But sometimes I'm also like, yo, babe, see, we go, let's go on a date. Mm-hmm. We'll go grab dinner, probably go on a movie mm-hmm. or go play a game or just walk. Mm-hmm. Then I also love long drives. Mm-hmm. Like I would just drive to Kajiado. Uko past kuatuoli, uko ni mena marakata. We just drive, yes, you just drive with the windows down, music. You're just chilled. You're even there. Mm-hmm. We're not even talking. Just You're just present. Mm-hmm. And I'm just driving, and those moments, they're just priceless. And you just go top of a hill somewhere and chill mm-hmm. and whatever and come back. And I have those moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there are also moments where, ah, uh, <laughs> <Ooh, wee, beba laughs> <bag. laughs> uh-huh. yeah, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. but I think it's yeah. normal actually. Yeah, you anyway, know, the mood and the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our show. So, that means this is the in no time ya musho musho mno know this handsome guy kwa issue ukitaka kwenda kupeleka kuona kuendelea kuona fika kwa dm si ndio wakuja shoot their shots yeah yeah uh, if you're looking fine <laughs> slide in the dm but if you look in the way you want mm-hmm. uh, please don't do it <laughs> <laughs> also you might look the way you want but you have money <laughs> well, yeah nani said that on my interview Pretty fishy. Yeah. And I was like, yo, what do you mean? I'm like, okay. So by the way, I've just realized on my birthday, I received money as a gift. Mm-hmm. And I've realized, kumbe kupewa pesa ni tamu. Yeah, it's time. Nilipewa like, hey, karibu nishike ball. Who's this? I want your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, kumbe na sababu madei mushika ball ukiwa pea do. I'm like, unapea nungu doki 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 na kumbe. <gasps> we are expecting. I'm like, what? Yeah. That money was not for the... <laughs> Yeah, so I do the couple of flowers. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. we in the Kwanoma. So, I didn't know I got that feeling. Mm-hmm. So if you have money, mm-hmm. I'm not talking about unendesha gari moja. I'm talking about <laughs> long money, like uh-huh. pesa uliwachiwa. I'm talking to Annelisa. Kuja to kunywe keroche tu. Tulewe, unajua huyu anunui. Inakuwa drop kwa nyumba. Yes, inakuwa drop na lori. Anasema anajisikia leo na nzina kama kwa lori anafungua. Anasema ni pay your credit na your credit na your credit. Wewe ni ku pop tu. Wewe ni unajipikia sio kwa na formula. Anajipikia kwa nyumba. That's what I want. Sitaki kuteseka mimi. Nishateseka kutosha. 
<laughs> well, so ladies and gentlemen, you have heard from Oga Obina himself. Eh? Umesikia Kenya Napena, what he doesn't like. He has taught us a lot of things as a teacher. Sindio? So guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, my lord, my lord, what are you waiting for? Ata before that, as you can see, Nimeva Apa Fresh Barida remix. So Steve Simpobo is dropping something hot your way anytime from now. So tegea, 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 tegea. And once he drops it, feel free to comment Utwambie music ikoaje. Sindio. But in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly consider doing so. Apanacha to niambio obina wambi m subscribe. Sindio. Yo, you know what you need to do? Down there there's a button, bell notification, subscribe. Okay, if you press on that subscribe, what are you going to lose? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man of few words. Yeah, what are you going to lose if you press on the subscribe button? Mm. It's just so that anytime there's another amazing interview like this one on this channel, yeah. you don't miss it. Yeah. That's why you need to subscribe. Yes. And guys, comment remember to keep it as respectful as possible because there's another human being who is me at the end of the line who will be reading that comment. So that is it for today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!